Morning Year 3 and welcome to whole class reading for today. We're going to be carrying on thinking about our book The Tiny Seed by Eric Carl. And in that book the plant grows taller and taller and flowers grow on it and all summer long the birds and bees and butterflies come to visit the big and beautiful flower. But is the flower just there to look pretty? So today we're going to be exploring the role that flowers actually play in the life cycle of flowering plants. So do you think this pretty red rose is male or female? Well, the answer is actually both. All flowers have male and female parts that are needed to make more plants. And this process is called reproduction. It all starts with the petals. When the plant is still in bud, the petals are protected by leaf-like structures called sepals. And the petals burst through the sepals when the flower goes into bloom. And now the petals have opened up, we can see both the male and female parts inside. So the male part of the flower is called the stamen and it consists of the anther which is held up by the filament and it's actually the anther that produces the pollen. The female part of the flower is called the carpal or pistil and that consists of the stigma which collects the pollen and the style, which carries the pollen to the ovary. And this is where the eggs or ovules are produced. So every flower contains both male and female parts, which are needed to reproduce and create more beautiful flowers. <laughs> 